I have to say I've got a love hate relationship with Facebook um, as a as a as Steve by myself uh, doing doing business and things. Facebook was never something I ever considered uh, until I started uh, considering having a coaching program and, and doing a, a digital product uh, or something like that. So um, I really didn't know anything at all about Facebook other than I didn't really like it <laughs> just from my personal use. Um, but I do recognize the immense power that Facebook has to connect audiences with business and, and to help, uh, you know, explain to an audience what your product is and how it works. Yeah. Terry, with her information about how to actually build lists and, and do advertising the right way, do marketing the right way to engage your customers and engage your audience uh, has just been an absolute game changer. Um, you know, Facebook was, um, again, just something I wasn't really familiar with. And, and with Kerry's help, we not only learned to understand the use cases, um, but actually just get incredible results out of uh, implementing her system. Um, and, and even for somebody like me that doesn't know too much about it, <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of, I'm still, even, even after doing it a few years, I'm still a little bit worried that I might break something, but, um, it's wonderful to have somebody like Kerry in our back pocket to help us along. The first time we, we launched this was actually before COVID and, um, we just got amazing results straight away. Um, but an interesting thing happened, which I think is worth talking about when, when COVID happened, it actually killed that business model um, for for me and for my business because the world just changed very quickly and you know supply chains stopped and borders were closed and you couldn't get anything out of uh, overseas markets. So so for me that was like a death knell for that that business. And immediately I asked Kerry to help us evaluate how can we sort of pivot that business and the results were just astounding. Within um, about a month or two of work, we were able to re-roll um, a, a new company. Um, and a new business um, off the back of something that was already successful but just got killed dead in the water and, and we really had fantastic results. So we focused instead of doing live workshops because we couldn't um, uh, travel because of COVID, we focused to doing an online workshop uh, and, and just doing it that way. So we were running on online one day workshops. Um, teaching my process, which I call buy like an eagle, which is how to go about um, finding product 30 to 50% cheaper than foreign imports um, made in Australia. And, and we started running that program. Now I can sort of summarize for you the results that we got. So over um, the last couple of years, totally we've accepted about 499 applications, which is $5.17 million, $5.1 million in, in pre-sales. And we were, uh, we accepted out of those clients 287. So we made, uh, and converted, uh, $3.3 .3 million of sales over that time. So Facebook is where we promote those things. So if I've done a radio piece, we will package it up, put it on my Facebook page and use Kerry's, uh, marketing process to then distribute that. And we often achieve better distribution than the radio stations themselves, which is really exciting. Um, that means that I get called more often by more radio stations because they know I distribute better than they do, right? To a more targeted audience using Carrier system. Um, so in this way, with all of those things said and done, um, Facebook generated um, over half a million dollars worth of those sales directly um, and gave us a return on ad spend of around about 480%. Now, I do business. That's my thing. And none of my other businesses do something like 480% uh, return on ad spend. It's only been through Facebook that I've achieved that. Um, An interesting, uh, interesting fact, since we increased our pricing um, at the start of this year, that return on ad spend's actually increased. It doesn't cost us more to advertise on, on Facebook, but obviously if we've increased our pricing, we get paid more to do it, right? So... In that way, our, our return on advertising um, now has gone up to 684%. And again, just a stunning result um, and, and something that I'm uh, deeply grateful for Kerry to have shown us how to do. It's just really a money printing machine. Uh, if you get this model right, uh, you know, we know that it's okay for us to spend thousands of dollars on advertising because we're converting 1000 into 6840 um, and using exactly that same mathematics. So um, it's really a, a nice and secure way for us to sort of gauge where we're going to go with our marketing and what that might mean for us as a business in terms of income and revenue. The thing that really surprised me with my, you know, limited knowledge of how the Facebook world works before meeting Kerry, the thing that really surprised me was the messenger marketing process. 
Um, it's quite normal for us when we're running a marketing campaign through that, which is heavily automated. I don't have to do anything at all. It's really just press play and walk away from the screen. Um, people don't perceive that. The people engaging in that marketing flow, which I'm, I'm assuming that you'll all learn about, um, the people engaging in that think it's me. They think I'm there answering every single message, answering every single question, answering every single thing. Um, they just don't perceive that they're talking to an automated process. And, and that was fantastic for me. It was a big relief that I didn't have to engage in that. Um, I'm a busy guy and, and having to watch every single Facebook message just felt overwhelming. Um, but having a process that just does it for me is, is just amazing. It's been really powerful. And I use Facebook. I've, I've got my own personal Facebook account where I talk to mum and dad and my friends and, and so on. Um, but as I said before, I really kind of don't like Facebook. There's a lot of the way that Facebook works that is not my style, um, but I've learned to love it for what it does for my business. Um, and, and it's just an incredible marketing tool. I, I don't think, I mean, YouTube's good. It, it does some things, but I don't think any other platform really has the same direct access to your customer in the way that Facebook does. So we often use Facebook now as the, the kind of audience building or list building activity. Um, so people know who we are and then we use other platforms to disseminate that if we think it's valuable or if we think it's needed. But Facebook is really the primary thing. I didn't really know um, at the start of this, I, I saw um, what Kerry could do and that was super exciting for me, but I didn't know the nuts and bolts of it. If somebody had told me on day one of me starting to use Kerry's stuff, um, hey, in a couple of years' time, you would have generated $3.3 million and you would have an opportunity to, to generate up to $5.1 million as an augmentation to your business. It's not a new business for me. It's just doing more of the same stuff. It's just empowering it, right? Um, to add $3 million to your revenue, you'd be silly not to say yes to that. And all we've done is implement what Kerry does. It, it's not magic in that way. It's, I, th I think it's something anybody could do if you understand the process. In terms of results, it's exceeding other models that I use, right? Um, in, in terms of like dollar spent to dollar gained, it exceeds the other models that I use. Some of that is constrained also by my, my career and how I've built my... I'm in manufacturing, right? Um, so in manufacturing and in product development, in prototyping, it's all about physical product. That's what manufacturing is, right? Turning raw materials into a product. So that's where my business has come from, that world. And we do have great results in other areas of our business. But what Kerry's process did was add zeros to that. So it's not that I really changed what I do, it's I changed how I message that thing and use Facebook to accelerate that messaging in the right way. And that has literally, as I said, added zeros to, to the revenue model. So um, I can't in, in any way say it's not been positive. It's been absolutely fantastic for us. Uh, there is a bit of a learning curve um, as there is with anything. Um, and that's been actually not that difficult with Kerry's help in the background. And, uh, you know, on we go. So, you know, while most businesses suffered heavily through COVID, as I said before, we were able to pivot and we actually grew 30% through that same time. And that's something that you just don't hear that often. You know, having those sort of strategies in, in your quiver is, is a really nice thing to have. It just gives you security and peace of mind that your business is going to be okay.